Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Fergie Vlog here, and I am going to show you how to look younger with makeup. This is a revised video I have um, already on my channel that is actually my most popular video of all. Um, it grows the most criticism and the most praise, of course, like anything on YouTube, right? So what I thought I would do is it's almost a year old and I thought I would revise it and um, address some of the comments in that video. One was that my under eye concealer was too shiny and I have to say it wasn't because I didn't powder underneath them. Um, I will explain that to you when I get to the concealer part, but I promise not to make my under eye concealer shiny in this video. Second, people said to use a brow whiz on my eyebrows, which I did. But anyway, I'll do it again this time. So my point was just to show you how to make makeup work in your favor, to use makeup a way to make your face look fresh and polished and, you know, help disguise flaws or things that happen when we age because we aren't all 22 running around with perfect glowing skin and we can just pop on lip gloss and mascara and look ready to face the day. We have a lot going on here. But also not to overdo it so you don't look like a drag queen with a cake face and people look at you funny when you go to the school drop off line. Anyway, so this is just me, this is just me doing my thing and this video is probably going to be a little bit long. Um, because it's going to be very thorough. And I'm going to feature products from all over, whether it's drugstore, Sephora, High End, Ulta, what have you, I'm using it. So, let's begin. Uh, first of all, sunscreen is a must, and I am a full believer in primer. I love products that prime the skin, anything that says diffuses fine lines, enlarge pores. That's for me, and especially anything that helps cut redness or even skin tone. You can see I have red cheeks. It's part of rosacea. It's part of my heritage. I'm Anglo-Saxon, German-English. It's just the way it goes. I freckle, I blush, I burn, all that good stuff. Okay, I'm also going to be using my Bye Bye Redness from IT Cosmetics. This is a neutralizing correcting cream. This is in the $30 range. I got it at Ulta. You can get it at QVC. You can use coupons. You can use auto pay, whatever you want to do. It is completely worth the money. Um, some people remarked on how expensive it was, but the thing is, it will last you years if you take care of it. If you keep it closed tight, you just need a couple, like tiniest, tiniest bit, and you just dot it over your blemish, de well, it's not really for blemish, I mean, it's for blemishes, it's for any uneven skin tone that you might have. So what it does is it gives you a nice start in covering your redness without having to pack on foundation. So any areas that you are red, that you have discoloration, you can apply this and it makes just a nice layer but I just, I fully believe in that product and I love it. I think it's also great if you want to use like a illuminator, something on your skin before you put foundation on. I love this Becca Backlit Primer. I have a review of it already on my channel. If you haven't seen my videos before, I talk a lot about it. Um, anyway, it's just good stuff. So I'm just gonna apply this in some strategic areas. You can put it everywhere, but since I've put the Redness product Already, I'm not going to put it everywhere, <laughs> whatever that meant. Um, so it is, you know, I, it for some reason, this has such good quality, um, uh, priming qualities as well. So I feel like if you want to use it just alone as a primer and nothing else, go for it. I'm just kind of showing you what's out there and what's available and what works. Um, yeah, so skip any step you think is too much. But now, do you see how radiant I am? <laughs> okay, next I am going with my high-end Estee Lauder foundation. I do have some other 
foundations I love, like this Bourjois Healthy Skin, and I have a Maybelline and a Rimmel, but, and a L'Oreal, but I love this foundation right now. And I'm telling you, if you are a mature woman, if you wanna wear something that looks good on your skin all day long, and you don't have to touch up your makeup or deal with anything else, try out the Double Wear. I think it's great for a mature skin that is on the driest side. I think that um, it just blends well, and the only drawback is that it doesn't come with a pump. And this is the color Sand. I take a dampened beauty blender and I just bounce it onto my face. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. I just bounce it onto my face. Of all the makeup I've been wearing probably in the last month, I just kind of keep, every time I try something new, I can tell whether or not the product has broken down on my cheeks or kind of broken apart, you know, like where you can just see the pores or your nose kind of breaks up um, product. And I just don't, I feel like I'm just having such good luck with this foundation and that doesn't happen. So yeah. I think the key to looking young with makeup is not looking too overly done. So, with that, we will be blending a lot and layering. Next, I'm going to conceal and I'm going to use my Becca Under Eye Corrector. This is like a pink product that helps with dark circles. This is not a concealer, this is a corrector really dark right here. Okay, now I'm going to take um, concealer and I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Double Wear in light medium and I am going to put that over the corrector and a little bit further down my face. You can blend this with a brush if you want or your beauty blender. I love my Real Techniques crease brush for I think I'm going to use my blender. It just goes so fast. Look at that. I'm like bam, done. Okay, am I ready for powder? Yes. 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 I'm going to take the Laura Mercier powder in Translucent. I just love this stuff. It is so good. It's like, it really is the best powder. And just take, <laughs> just take a fluffy powder brush, which I need to clean. I like to put some in the lid. I like to dab it on the outer edge of my face, pushing in product along my T-zone. I do have a video on baking for mature skins. I can link that below. I don't like to bake under my eyes because it makes it crepey. And now I'm going to take a little bit of the NARS Crystal Setting Powder and the um, Real Technique Setting Brush and go very lightly. Okay, people, this is the part where you can see I have powdered over the concealer. We won't have shiny concealer in this. Let me just say that the product I used in the first video is from It Cosmetics and it's their Bye Bye Under Eye. And it is, it has a lot of light, reflect, light reflecting properties. I'll show you. It was from this set. It comes in a tube. This is their set. I think they might have it on their website again this year. And their Bye Bye Under Eye Concealers are amazing, but they do have a lot of light reflecting. Also, the Bye Bye Pores I find to be also light reflecting. So just know that if you're in bright light or food, um, flash photography, that those products might have a little bit of flashback. That's all. 
looks good in real light, natural light. Okay, speaking of eyes, let's take something drugstore finally. Am I blended? Let me just do a once over, making sure all the powder. Powder is key even if you're mature and dry because you want all the other products to go on smoothly over the powder. You can use cream products, but just set them with a light dusting of powder and always do cream first, then powder. Don't do powder, cream, powder, cream. It just becomes a skitty mess. Okay, this is the 12 hour Jordana um, eye pencil crayon in eternal white and I'm just going to go over my eyelid with it this is long wear. It takes away any uh, kind of bluish veins in my lid area. That's my dog. She wants in. Just a second, Sophie. Just really makes a good canvas. And I believe it's like two or three dollars at Walgreens. Okay, so eye makeup is key for giving a nice focus to the face and framing the face to give dimension and definition. So I am going to use these IT Cosmetic eyeshadows. Um, there's a lot of eyeshadows you can use. I am just going to stick with some taupe kind of natural, neutral, neutral shades, and um, but you use whatever you want, okay? go into Earth Angel because it's like a more neutral taupe. What I love is using transition shades that are neutral taupes and then I still love metallics and pearls and uh, you know I am just a believer in just about any eyeshadow no matter what your age but there's ways of you can use eyeshadow to your advantage. If that makes sense? Okay, so this is a taupe shadow. Yeah, okay, so this is what I just put all over my lid. See that right there? Yeah, now I'm going to take a thinner, another clean kind of tapered crease brush and I'm gonna put it in this espresso shade and I am gonna work my crease, okay? So I'm gonna to stay to the edge of my eye, the outer edge of my eye, and I'm just going to work my crease. Colors like gray, taupe, brown, rosy kind of neutrals are excellent for goof-proof eyeshadows. Okay, let's blend that. Take that same brush and I am going to um, I am going to lightly get it in that same espresso color which is this I'll show you that is what I'm using on the corner and here and I'm just gonna lightly dust that on the lower eyelid I do this instead of like pencil liner down there. If I tight line in black or do too much dark under my eyes, it makes me look, I don't know, I just don't like it. <laughs> also if I don't do anything under there, that doesn't help either. So it's like a, you're kind of making a shadow and it's actually bringing out the eye, trust me. So I think a good kind of something to keep people guessing is to take kind of a rosy 
shade um, and just kind of pop it in the crease and just kind of warm up the eye area. This is, what shade is this? This is Venus Love. And you can see it's kind of a coppery shade. But I just, I really do like a warm shade just popped in the crease, in the center of the eye. Let's blend that. I'm gonna just take my beauty blender, clean up any shadow fallout. I also like to take an angled brush and I like to just put it in a black shadow. You can use any black shadow you want and I like to go along the lash line. Now I'm going to take my Brow Wiz pencil and I'm gonna fill in my brows to make everyone happy. I actually kinda of already filled in my brows a little bit, but then I was doing something else and so, yeah. I think brow grooming is essential as we age. I think leaving more brow than waxing off is critical. Um, I just feel like that fuller brows are more youthful. If you line them too thin or put them too high, you're probably going to look like, you know, one of those little old ladies or like Marlena Dietrich. I don't know. So I like to map out my eyebrows and I use the um, kind of end of my nose and then I just kind of and I like to just fill in the tail, or whatever you call this. Oops, why did I do that? Okay. This is Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe. I like to focus the concentration of definition on the end there. Just like little strokes in the top. Just a little, little bit of also sticking with the natural shape of your eyebrow, I think is key. I think when we try to curve it too much or we sort of make the tadpole shape, it looks like we're like this. We look surprised. So if in doubt, fill in let. Just don't be too dramatic when you fill in your eyebrows. Okay. Also, as we age, we lose hair. So eyebrows and eyelashes thin. So anything you can do to kind of give that more lift, you know, filled in look is going to help. All right, let's add some color and highlight and all that good stuff. So I'm going to just um, dust over there. I'm going to take one of my just a nice brush. I'm sticking it in my bronzer. Um, I'm going to use just sort of like a, a matte bronzer to begin with, just for the cheekbones. Also, if you over contour, you might look a little older. It can add a few years. So try to just be really soft in your contour efforts. You know, we don't want to be like 
the Queen or Maleficent. Or we do, I don't know. What am I saying? So I'm just kind of trying to warm up the area. And then a pop of blush is so nice. And I'm using Natural Flush, which is this color. Oh my gosh, it's really pretty and pink. And I'm gonna tap it off on the back of my hand before I apply it. Just so I don't overdo it. And then I'm gonna take just, I have a Real Techniques, um, the gold brush, and I'm gonna take this highlighter they have, and I'm gonna set it right here on my cheek. This is such a good highlighter, and it's also kind of, it diffuses the skin. I think strobing is awesome to do for a youthful appearance, because younger skin glows, and that's basically what you're trying to do with strobing. There. That highlighter is called Hello Light Powder Luminizer, and I love it. Okay, now for mascara. I think false lashes are superb in giving a full, wide open face. Um, I'm gonna do just regular lashes today though. I like my MAC Extended Play. Giga Black Lash Mascara because it gets in all the little hairs. Okay, so I have lashes on both top and bottom and I'm gonna take a small detail brush and I'm going to put it in this color here called Nude Silk and I'm gonna carefully just dab it into my tear duct. being careful to go upwards and not downwards so we don't get a whole bunch of shiny stuff down there like before, right? Oh, there is something about a little highlight in your tear duct that makes it so good. Lips. Let's talk lips. You have naturally full lips so I guess I'm lucky, I don't know, I suppose, I used to hate them, I know. Um, I am, t I can tell they're changing as I age. Also, I didn't ever know my mouth was crooked. So, this bottom lip is fuller on this side than it is here. So what I, I don't always fill in above my cupid's bow like a lot of people do to make their lips fuller because I feel weird when I do that and then I usually wipe my mouth after I eat or drink and then I'm like, oh, where did all my lips go? So I do though even out down here on the bottom. My favorite lip pencil right now is the Circa Toffee Lip Pencil from Walgreens. So I'm going to just do a light lining of my lips. I'll go slightly above here and then I'm gonna even this area out. So. Line your lips however you want to, but if you feel like you have uneven lips or you wanna have more fullness in your lips, then just um, go slow and use a just a light hand and then build from there instead of you know overdrawing and use a lighter, more neutral pencil than a darker pencil. That's just my opinion. Okay, I like to start with the Cupid's bow and I just kind of make the X and then I just kind of round it out. Also your lips start to crease more. If you've smoked or drank through a straw a lot you'll find little lines 
Um, you can get treatments and lip products that help plump and refine the lip area. There are tons out there. And sometimes with a liquid lip, I do overline my lips because I just go, here's my lips. <laughs> so I don't want anybody to think that if you line your lips outside your lip line that I'm against it. I'm not. I'm not. I like everything. Oh, another tip. I don't do that. I don't do that because I feel like it distorts the shape of my mouth. I like to keep my mouth in a neutral position. <laughs> Today's lipstick is going to be Boots in the color Romantic. I love this color and formula. Wear whatever color you want. If you want to go with dark purple, wear dark purple. If you're 52 and you want to wear deep red, do it. I don't care. I want you to do whatever you want to do. I'm just showing kind of a nude neutral look today. Are you just sighing away there, dog? Oh. I took you for a walk. Don't be giving me grief, lady. I did kind of overline, didn't I? Now, a fun thing to do to kind of give your lips that much more pow. Look at me. Pow. Ah. I'm going to take just my finger in some eyeshadow. And I'm going to dust it right here. This is my Jouer gloss in Ethereal. Oh, wait. Yeah. Use whatever kind of pinky lip gloss. Do I need more blush? I have a lot of highlighter on, don't I? Sometimes just taking a clean brush with no product, going over your face, making sure everything's blended. I am highlighted. I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but I feel like it's just pretty, right? I don't know. Do I look 10 years younger? Probably not. I'm probably just the same old me, just with makeup on. That's okay. I'm also going to use some um, setting spray. I think setting sprays are amazing in making sure your makeup doesn't budge to keep the product Put, but also certain setting sprays are better than others in terms of kind of protecting the skin from outer elements like humidity or dehydration, that kind of thing. So I'm using the Scandinavia spray. I kind of like to bathe in it. <laughs> but I like, you know, you can give yourself a more dewy look. You can mattify. There's so many things you can do with setting sprays. And that one's just kind of a nice, good all-purpose one. Alrighty, well thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have garnered some tips and tricks and information that's useful from this video and feel free to leave me any comments or questions. I hope all positive. No, it's okay. Um, I love constructive criticism if it's all wrapped up in a nice big bow and a Sephora gift card and a donut. Just kidding. Um, sort of. Anyway. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy my channel and thanks for sticking around and I will see you next time. Bye!